if you are a farmer who want to do cabbage production, there are some things that you're supposed to know. There are some insights that you're supposed to understand before you start to do the project. So in this video, I'm going to give you some processes. We normally create a standard of operating procedures and key performance indicators for our farmers, especially when we do the land use planning, so that they know the steps that are supposed to be followed, so that when they get their yields, it is in line with what they planned before. We don't want a situation whereby when you get maybe 40,000 years from a fish hectare, it's like you you, you 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 just do it by guessing or by panazutu No, we don't want that. It has to be according to the plan. So I'm going to show you some of the steps that you have to go through. The first thing that you're supposed to do is market analysis. We talked about it in the previous video. Then number two is now the land preparation. You have to thoroughly prepare your land so that you promote good soil seed conduct. And it also means when you get your moisture is going to get into the soil, it's going to be attracted to the plant so that you, your, your growth is going to be good. Even if you apply your fertilizer, it's going to be very nice. Then after land preparation, you go also to the variety. Which variety are you going to use? Are you going to use the started three level? Are you going to use the long season varieties? Are you going to choose the one which is at least tolerant to various uh, pest and disease? But normally, when you are choosing varieties, you are looking at the uh, tolerance to pest and disease. We are looking at um, time to maturity. Then, after land preparation is done, your varieties there, then you are now transplanting. At transplanting, you need to make sure that your seeds are well hardened so that they can tolerate the conditions that are there in the real field other than what you were doing in the seed place. So you need to harden them well uh, and you all oh, have those procedures. You can also get them through our social media platform so that you understand. We are putting 50, 400 kgs of compound seed per hectare, but we want to know exactly how much per plant, how many grams are we supposed to put of compound seed, which means you need your soil analysis done uh, before you start to, to plant your crop so that you are now putting according to the soil potential. Then after that, you are now looking at the top dressing, which uh, fertilizer are you going to use? If you are using ammonium nitrate, how many splits are you using? Depending on the type of your soil, normally we recommend three, three, three splits. Uh, then after that, we are now going to the issue of scouting. This is very important to identify pests and disease before they actually reach to maximum threshold, before the damage is now affecting your uh, financial potential. So after that, you are now having your spraying program that you are using every Monday. Maybe you are spraying dimethoate or every Wednesday you are spraying your dietin. Every Friday maybe you are spraying uh, your, your, your malathion, depending on the type of pest that you are targeting. So that spraying program should be there. Even the foliar fertilizer application procedure is supposed to be there. You know exactly every week maybe you are uh, applying calcium or, or whatever type of foliar that you are using to improve the growth. Because nowadays we are talking about the precision agriculture where we are saying every uh, output that we are expecting from the field, it has to be aligned with um, uh, what we are putting. Uh, at one point I was discussing with other person who was saying, you know, it is not more important to set objectives. What is more important is to have the systems in, in place. So what it means, if you are having your notebook or your diary, what is supposed to be on the front page is the systems or the strategies. How are you going to do it? Because now you know you're supposed to get uh, maybe 40 tons of um, cabbage per hectare. That one is on, on the top of your head. But what we need to have on your fingertip is now the strategies. My fertilizer application, the type, the timing, all the strategies that are there to make sure that you achieve your final goal. So it is more important to put all those in place. But we are saying we are also creating you the key performance indicators the standards of operating procedures that you are going to use to manage the crop. But it's no longer a traditional way of doing things. And traditionally, we know the impact of doing things in a traditional way. Number one, you are not getting the actual yield. You get less, number one. Then number two, in terms of time, you take more time to get something that you're supposed to get in very few time. Just uh, um, uh, this year, we introduced the... Uh, uh, some of these services, drone services, whereby we are doing scouting, crop counting, crop health analysis, using specialized drones to make sure that you get the information that you need about your field, number one, which disease affect you, you affecting your field. Not to realize when you do scouting that, that you're going to do maybe once uh, every two days, and if you have people who are not more serious about the project, they ended up doing it maybe once, once a, once a week. And when you realize the problem, it's already a damage to the field. But with our drone solution, you'll be able to understand that quick earlier because we give you the information on oh, this crop is supposed to be irrigated this time 
and or how many times a week or how many times a day depending on the performance thank you very much for under, for getting through this video i hope you learn more this meet the next video